Something is going on. Some of us see it, some of us feel it. It's time to expand your thinking. You will need to reset everything you thought you knew about the world, about the people you trust, about history, about yourself. Let me tell you a story. For a very long time, our world has been under the growing influence of a vast transgenerational criminal mafia that was able to rise up to the highest levels of power. We didn't know because they talked and acted just like you and me. We thought we could recognize true criminals by their words and actions, but were deceived by their sophisticated speech, wealth, education, beauty, and power. Through a system of threats, blackmail, and bribery, they would come to occupy the highest levels of power in government, corporations, and education. You may know them as the Deep State or Cabal. Most dangerously of all, they achieve almost total influence over the media. Their primary means of controlling the good people of the world who are just trying to get on with living. They use this power to slowly convince us that we were the problem, that we were a threat to each other. They use race, gender, and religion to set us apart, and rewrote history to validate these false claims. They funded both sides of wars just to crush our potential to prosper and succeed as a peace-loving and creative force of good for the world. Now, with their firm grasp on the media, we drank in their entertainment and lies as they began their final phase, the total takedown of America. We were the brightest remaining beacon of freedom and humanity's last hope. They knew that if they could take America, the rest of the world would follow. They cut deals that led us to hand over total control of the money system to a private central bank the Federal Reserve. This made it possible to influence Washington, D.C., and most of our presidents since then were beholden to the criminals in one way or another. Things took a really bad turn when they concentrated vast power into the hands of the many civilian intelligence agencies throughout the world. They said they were there to protect us. Instead, these agencies were catastrophically weaponized to boost drug and human trafficking cartels, assassinate political opponents, undermine the military, and change regimes of foreign governments who did not want to adopt the centralized system of money control. You might think they would choose simply to remain in the shadows running their criminal activities while we carried on with our lives. But as long as there was freedom for the people to prosper, the Cabal were always at risk of being discovered and shut down. There was no way to continue without a plan to eliminate all threats to their survival even if it meant imposing a single world government under their jurisdiction, where no national identity, police force, or military could stop them. They called it globalism. Exploiting our emotions and our instincts of compassion, they found a way to justify dismantling cultures, borders, and national identity under the guise of social justice, creating false narratives of racism, colonialism, and capitalism to destabilize and ultimately collapse societies so they were no longer secure enough to reject this dark plan for the world. Where there was no history to distort, they would use wars to force a catastrophic mass migration of peoples across borders to destabilize and weaken cultural identity. When we didn't accept this, they called us intolerant and shamed us into silence. By 2008, America was in advanced stages of economic decline, with disastrous trade deals leading to widespread loss of jobs and a devastating financial crisis. The Cabal had now absorbed another extensive criminal empire that was aligned with a twisted and radical form of Islam. Realizing the competition could threaten their goals, they decided to cooperate and agree to mutual terms. Now a hostile foreign enemy was able to insert a subordinate into the U.S. political system who would become the president. Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal funded Obama's Harvard education and took power by proxy, picking his entire cabinet while buying vast quantities of control in our largest media companies. The Western faction of the Cabal was different. It was another kind of sick altogether. A dark and deeply sinister death cult with a strong reliance on symbolism and numerology, with levels of cruelty unimaginable to all right-thinking people. The reach and scale the secret society had achieved would have sent destabilizing shockwaves across the world were it ever to be publicly exposed. They were highly skilled at living just below the surface as they worked their way into the United States presidency. With both factions of the Global Mafia now in control, are you ready to hear what they had planned? Make sure you're sitting down. They installed rogue operators in government. They opened back doors to leak highly classified military intel and top secret special access programs. They cut military funding and weakened the command of generals with irrational new rules of engagement. They worked to dismantle NASA and end our supremacy in space. They infiltrated and exposed defensive military intelligence programs that reduced our ability to detect foreign and domestic threats. They used our trusted agencies to target and weaken political opponents. 
They relaxed our borders and enabled passage of millions of illegals and violent criminal gangs. They moved money to fund global terrorism, resulting in groups like ISIS moving to capture vast territories throughout the world. In 2016, the Cabal Alliance had hoped to retain power. If you are not yet chilled to the bone by the picture that is forming about their intentions for us all, let me tell you what was to come next. Through international climate change scams, they would have siphoned trillions of remaining wealth, eliminate the last good guys in government, and withdraw total funding from the U.S. military, handing over the responsibility of our defense to the United Nations. They would revise the Constitution to weaken our ability to fight back, ban the sale of firearms to eliminate our self-defense, insert their people into the Supreme Court, remove the Electoral College system to neuter our voting power, and totally eliminate alternative media to shield them from exposure. They instigated a covert deal to move large quantities of our uranium to their captured states in North Korea and Iran to build up a nuclear arsenal that would threaten the world. For this, they blamed Russia, a growing force of opposition to their ambitions of global control. By casting Putin as an enemy and blaming him for this illegal uranium deal, they had planned a devastating nuclear world war between America and Russia that would have exhausted the last two remaining pillars of freedom for the world, accelerating the horrific endgame that had become inevitable. This cabal miraculously lost power in 2016 when a brave operation, led by a U.S. military alliance and their global partners, were able to return power legitimately over to the light. They had a plan of their very own, one that was many decades in the making. With Donald Trump selected for the role of president, the people of America were slowly awakened to the reality of the world they live in. With so much hidden and lied about in the media channels we had come to trust for our news and entertainment, this alliance of good set into motion a sophisticated strategy of dismantling the vast network of corruption that had almost completely overcome every level of government, industry, and the legal